Uh, you remember last week we were talking about, geez, we're disappointed with how much crime's going on at the moment and people mm. getting stuff yeah. flogged and stuff. I don't know whether that's why somebody reached out to me on Facebook. But, um, John, this guy, so someone pointed in my direction and said, oh, Marto might want to hear about your case. So he's written me a little note on Facebook, this bloke. John, his name was, and he said it was a story about his son. I think he's 24. He said he's a carpenter. And I went, oh, yeah. this will be interesting. Right, eh? So a carpenter. He lives up in Caboolture South in this new estate. And he, kept, he started telling me the story. I said, oh, don't tell me. Yep. He had his trailer, full builder's trailer, you know, carpentry yeah. trailer, which is your whole life. That's how you make money out of that trailer. You turn up to places and you fix things. All right? Nail pieces of timber together in a fancy way. That's carpentry. <laughs> All right, so I had a heap of his stuff, his gear stolen out of his trailer. Oh, no. I went, oh, that's no good, mate. I don't know what we can do about it. But I, if you don't mind, I said we might ring the young bloke today, and I've got him on the line now. I haven't spoken to him, but so this is my is – Yari, is it? That's right, yeah. How you going? Yari, Dad, your dad, John, told me about the story. Can you repeat it? Was I close to the mark on what's happened to you the other night? No worries at all. So um, I've gone to do my U-turn in the morning – and I've looked in my rear vision mirror and seen that my trailer door was just wide open. Oh. You know what we mean? We're talking yeah. about with tra- you know, trailer, so he gets Isn't into his like trailer. Suicide doors, they open. Yeah, sort of thing, yeah. open yeah. upwards. Yep. Yeah, so that was wide open, and I've checked it out, and there's just missing tools all through it. Oh, no. Yari, what did they break in through the lock? You had it locked up out on the street? I did, yeah. They've pried open the lock. Oh. It was after all that rain we had. And uh, dad, well, your dad told me, he said, I said, why would I, didn't he take it off the street? Because you, you've got ladders on top of your trailer for work and you can't fit it underneath the um, carport. So you're trusting of people, which is, Jesus, what you can't do anymore, I suppose. Well, I hope not. We do live on a really nice street. It was quite a surprise. Nyari Mato was saying you're a, you're a carpenter. This is your livelihood. What does this now mean for you that you're without these tools? Oh, I've got to borrow them off the other boys, and it's just a headache. No one uh, likes that. No, no, no. no one likes lending tools because the thing yeah. is, what? Well, give us an example. What? What? What did you lose? Did you lose your nail guns? Uh, yeah, a couple of nail guns. My battery gear. Oh, who were you? Who were you running? Milwaukee or Makita? Uh, Makita. Right. So, do you understand the batteries? Like, yeah. how many batteries did you have? Five or six or something? Oh, uh, they took two batteries. And a handful of the tools. So it's roughly about three hundred dollars a tool. And how many tools? Tool. What did you lose? Like a planer, a saw, and things. Yeah, a planer, a recipro, my drills. If you were to put a figure on it, Yari, uh, how much did they take worth? Uh, probably about two thousand dollars. Mm. Okay. Have you heard stories of these a holes going around the suburbs stealing from other tra- other tradies? Uh, my brother's trailer got broken into a couple of years ago. Okay. A similar right. area, Yari? Uh, that was on the Sunshine Coast. Yari, uh-huh. you you uh, were 24. But did your dad get it right? You're 24 and you got a little son? That's right, yeah. Mate, have you got insurance? Uh, no, I do not. Are they marked oh, a particular way? We heard from another gentleman some months oh, back yeah. whose stuff was stolen. He had like a, a blue or a purple mark on them. Have you had them marked? Do people look out for them? They were all sprayed with blue paint, yeah. Blue paint. Okay, so well, light blue or dark blue, everyone keep their eyes open because what, they, what these people do, they'll try to shift them into cash converters and stuff mm. like this and, and just grab the money, which Yuri, Yuri knows how much they're worth. Hey, listen, mate, I, I know what we can do. The reason it appealed to me is because I've got a son in the same boat. Yeah. He hasn't got insurance on his uh, – everything's locked up, but he doesn't have insurance. And then your dad got onto me. I thought, hold on, we've got to do something about this. Yari, so maybe somebody will help us out because – you need to go to work with your tools so you can make money to pay for your rent, to pay for your child, to pay for it, mate. Yeah. And, and the, we can't stop the crime by the looks of things, no. but hopefully we can help you. We might find somebody who'll give you a hand this morning, Ari. So you head to work and we'll try to do something for you. That'd be absolutely unreal. Thank you so much. That's all right. So one triple three five three. if you can wreck it, you can help or something like that. Surely somebody can give us a hand of our, our huge network of... Older, trade, older tradies, do you end up accumulating stuff right, as yes. you go along? Maybe you've got, got a few some of these spare tools few, yeah. you want to donate. Actually, I'll put my hand up. I've got a recipro so I haven't used the bloody thing in ages. So if that's what, how that gets Yari underway. So Vince, Vince, hello, mate. Good morning, Mana. How are you, mate? Vince, you heard Yari's story. Uh, his tools yeah. have been stolen and you wanted to help out. What can you do? Oh, uh, yeah, I hate these things that go on. I will 
I'd love to help you out. Yeah. Um, I know what it's like. I've got a son who's a builder. So, um, yeah, I'm quite happy if Yowie yeah, wants to come down to gear him up with some tools to keep him going. Where do you want him to come down to, Vince? Is that the Vince? <laughs> of course it's the Vince. How am I? Hello, Vince. Hello, Vince. I love it. Oh, crikey. From CNL Tools, if anyone doesn't know, on the corner of, well, Nudgy Road, what's that other street that you turn into? Oh. Um, Amada Place. Amada Place. Corner. Yeah, no, down, right. down at Banyo, they are, that is, oh, Vince, that's unreal. Do you reckon you can help Yari in some way? Yes, I can. I can help Yari out. Like I said, if he comes down, um, see what he wants, I'll gear him up and keep him going, mate. Yari, right. Yari, are you still there? Did he can stay on the line? Yes, I am, yeah. Yari? Yeah. Mate, meet Vince if you could. Oh, <laughs> mate, if you can say hello to him, I'm sure we'll, we'll we'll link you two up. But Vince wants to offer you some tools because he's he knows where you're coming from. That's hello, Yari. Good day, mate. There you yeah, go. You just you're good, mate. You just come down here to Banger and uh, ask for me, and um, I'll help you out, bro. Hey, no, no, no problem. No worries. Thank you. Oh, wow. Vince, Vince, I didn't realise this is how it was going to turn out. I thought maybe we were going to get donations of old dodgy tools, but mate, thank you so much for giving us a hoy. No, nah, this is quicker and keeps them going quicker. Yeah, get, <laughs> him, on the yeah. Road mate, get yeah. him back Beautiful. on the tools, get him into a job. Oh. He's got a little boy who's three to look after, and uh, you've done a wonderful gesture oh, there. Good Thanks, yeah. Vince from CNL Tools. 